So it's, it's, it's been a, a busy, busy spring. Summer's almost here, but uh, Ma Nature is, uh, is not being kind to uh, meteorologists right now. Now, here's the thing. Um, normally, I wouldn't mind, and I, and I don't mind. I really don't. I mean, it's a, in the grand scheme of things, just want to make sure everybody's safe. That's, that's the, the number one concern, but we, we've been short one meteorologist for almost a year now. And uh, I was really hoping for a quiet spring, and that's just not going to be the case uh, this year. It hasn't been the case, and I don't think that's going to, it's, things aren't going to calm down anytime soon. So here's the good news, um, and I'm just telling you guys this. Um, we do have a, a meteorologist, a, a weekend meteorologist hired, but he's new, and uh, he won't, he's not available until early July. And we got to train him and get him ready. And uh, so that's going to take some time. So it'll probably be probably August. Uh, before maybe maybe before that we'll see uh, so things are working it's just right the, the next month and a half is probably going to be brutal for for uh, the channel 8 weather team but anyway this is uh, this is for Thursday and for Friday June uh, 13 and 14 here we go here's Thursday at noon Storms start to pop around 5 p.m. Now this one, I, I mean, this is fine. This is, I mean, hopefully we avoid the very severe weather. We could use the rain, but large hail damaging wind, the whole nine yards possible with these storms as they move. Uh, they looks like they want to pop from about Omaha Lincoln and then shift south fairly quickly. And by about seven o'clock, eight o'clock, they're gone. Uh, and that's about it. So that's, that's your Thursday. Uh, because of that, you have, uh, there's your higher risk from Kansas City East uh, for your enhanced risk, but uh, from Omaha to Lincoln to Beatrice, level one. So, I mean, it's if a storm does pop, we could see some strong storms uh, or a severe storm. Better chance once you start to get into uh, very south, uh, southeastern Nebraska, uh, this area right here, that's your Richardson, Nemaha, Pawnee, Gage, uh, Johnson, Odo and then into Missouri, Kansas, and, and uh, Iowa. Now, what the potential is there for tornadoes, uh, and it's just a whole long strip here of, uh, of 2%. So, I mean, it's just probably one or two tornadoes out of that. These are not going to be uh, really bad tornadoes. Uh, also, large hail, and uh, this area right here, this, uh, the hash mark, let me see if I can find this real quick for you. It's, uh, that means two inches Oh wait, here it is, hail. There we go. The black hash marks mean hail two inches in diameter as possible in this area. The area, right there. So basically, very southeastern corner of Nebraska, east is the better chance for that. But Lincoln, Omaha, Beatrice, Concordia, maybe McCook has a, a five to 15% chance of seeing some, some hail. So again, it's worth watching. Uh, damaging wind, kind of the same thing. The better chance is over here, but uh, that southeastern corner of Nebraska does have a chance. Okay, so that's Thursday. Now, Friday, Friday's the kick in the head. I mean, this one just, it looked like, you know, a week ago we were looking at the forecast and it looked like we were finally quieting down for a while. It was going to get hot and it was just going to, you know, storms don't fare well when it's hot. Well, Almost the entire state is under a slight risk for Friday. So it wouldn't surprise me if we see this upgraded a little bit to an enhanced, and God forbid we get a, a moderate, because uh, it's uh, Fridays are tough in, this, in, in our weather department because we don't have a Saturday morning show, so there's nobody coming in. So that means I have to figure out uh, the scheduling and beg people to come in, and I hate doing that. I just would rather it be quiet. But... I also want everybody to be safe. So here's, here's what we have going on. This is your storm cast. Friday, 6 p.m. It kicks in in southwest Nebraska. It looks like it's going to do one of these. So North Platte to McCook around 9 p.m. So it gets a late start, right? Central Nebraska by 11 o'clock, midnight. Uh, it's pushing its way across eastern Nebraska. This is midnight right here. By about 1 a.m., it starts to pull south, but that doesn't matter. Uh, there's so many... Uh, possibilities that it would come back up here and this just one model says it's running into some stable air it might not I mean these storms may make their way further north so keep that in mind that even though this model shows it more further south 
from Columbus to Lincoln to Beatrice certainly has a chance of seeing strong storms at 1, 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, very early Saturday. Uh, so, and you can see there's still some pretty good storms there between Lincoln and Beatrice by about 3 o'clock in the morning. And then that should be about it by 5 o'clock in the morning. If I'm here at 5 o'clock in the morning, uh, but I do appreciate you guys. And uh, if this happens on Friday, the good news is I do enjoy our time together on YouTube Lives. So uh, if I'm streaming live, Friday would probably be the best possibility for us to hang out. Uh, so like and subscribe, that way you know if I do that, uh, and uh, we'll, have a, we'll make a Friday night out of it. How's that sound? All right, see ya.